Oh, g'day scrappers. Well, ready to uh, send these boards off and uh, cash in and yeah, get a bit of a payout. So we've got some server grade boards here. Cisco stuff, yeah. Um, motherboards. So that's two tubs and as well as a wheelie bin of uh, slot cards, PCI cards. Got mid-grade, mid-grade <laughs> and uh, huge stack of uh, motherboards. So I'm just waiting for the truck to come with uh, my empty tubs and I can uh, uh, load up a couple of extra tubs. And uh, yeah, in the van I've also got a uh, whole heap of hard drives, probably half a ton of hard drives and uh, quite a lot of laptops as well, probably uh, maybe close to half a ton of laptops as well, so um, yeah, it'd be really good to uh, clear all this out and give me empty tubs um, because I just got a, another batch of uh, server grade boards uh, very vintage um, from the old school Wang uh, PCs. Uh, you probably wouldn't remember them, they're from the 70s. But uh, yeah, we like Wangs. <laughs> PCs anyway. Uh, but um, yeah, some of these uh, chips, like that's, that's a CPU here from 1984. Um, so yeah. So I'll go through these boards, there's so many, uh, e even uh, these came off some kind of uh, networking thing, but as you can see, this one's got a, uh, a gold top uh, ceramic CPU, really nice, um, serious gold fingers for gold recovery. So um, what I do when I buy them, this is like closer to a telecom board, so when I buy them, I, I bring them down to um, the next grade, if I can. Um, even some of these old um, plastic CPUs, they can be really good for gold recovery as well. Um, these vintage 70s style, even old school tantalum capacitors. Um, yeah, but stacks of these even going to check the um, EEPROMs and just to uh, make sure that you know if they're the gold ones I always take them um, but yeah just a lot here uh, that came in and these boards here uh, more networking things um, a lot of the chips these plastic ones sometimes they're not that good um, I've gone through a few of them had, had a look and haven't really noticed much gold in there but the fingers are just too irresistible um, so uh, yeah in this case it'll still because there's no rubbish on it it'll still go as a server board even though even if I take the fingers off um, I'll just have to weigh it all up uh, check this one out um, again oh look he's a uh, Beautiful EEPROM, obviously a gold one, but uh, you know, with the gold on top as well, uh, gold legs and gold inside, very visible. So, yeah, these are from a, a an old school scrapper. Um, used to be a recycler years ago, so um, these were, you know, he's got a stockpile of these still at home and he brings them in. But all these memory chips, they're all ceramics. So that'll be interesting too, whether, let's see if I can pop the top off one. Okay. So as you can see, you might be able to see in, inside there, be under the, the uh, silicon chip, you can see all the gold. So these ceramics are as good as, by weight, as any good ceramic CPU so these are really very valuable so this board here if I take off I'm gonna obviously take off all these ceramic memory chips um, and obviously <laughs> that EEPROM uh, you know that'll be a, almost like a little little collectible 
um, and maybe the plastic ones take off the fingers and I'll bring this right down to mid-grade board you know just every board's different and they all vary so here's another board exactly the same and look at the difference firstly it does have a gold e-prime inside but it doesn't have the gold cap gold top um, and look at the uh, memory chips on this uh, they're all plastic ones so uh, if I'll take one and I'll crack it open if I don't see visible gold I'll leave them on and then so I don't have to devalue this board whereas this virtually it's an identical layout board would have done the same look at the difference all ceramics beautiful ceramic there so yeah that's just how it goes they're all very different but have very vintage and um yeah and then i've got a lot of cisco's that i recently bought under that pile and all the back and uh my gosh stuff is everywhere and this is another variation of the things that he brought me um this one here because it's got a lot of dead weight if i took off some of these removables um probably best not to take off the fingers to get high grade because uh because I paid a very high grade for them, if I take off the fingers and these chips, it's a mid-grade board because of this dead weight here. Um, so they're the old school ports. And uh, so that, that's something to weigh up, um, you know, because uh, because I pay pretty good money for them. I don't want to, you know, uh, lose too much on them. Um, it's all about you know this game is all about turnover um, as well as accumulating gold recovery stuff um, you know I don't know if I'm actually going to ever get to recover the gold from all the stuff that I've kept for gold recovery I might end up just selling it all off or you know who knows so <laughs> don't want to invest too much money on stuff that's just sitting there and I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to actually do it you know uh, I might just not be bothered in the end but anyway let's uh, wait for this truck get rid of this this is the easy part because he just uh, loads it onto the truck nice and easy the hard part is emptying the van with the hard drives and laptops when I get to uh, the depot so uh, yeah but hopefully a decent payout we'll see what we get and uh, and uh, yeah can use a bit of a cash flow in the system all right okay let's do this uh, is it new truck huh? oh no, no just, just uh, before yeah. same truck okay That's mid grade, yeah. Another one, another side. Uh, yeah. Green, green, the eye. 
Oh, that, oh, that, that's... Yeah, the diva, oh, these are high grade. Yeah, yeah, high grade, high yeah. Grade, yeah. That, that's all right, that one. Okay. Just that one. Okay. Certainly overloaded. I mean, gosh. <laughs> it's like, I think I oh, should, should I call them when I'm starting to get full and I think, oh no, I can go another couple of weeks and then all of a sudden, a few people bring me a stack load of boards. And uh, yeah, before you know it, over full. I certainly need the payout because obviously this isn't all my stuff, it's from other scrappers as well. So I do have some money tied up in it. There's not a big profit from the stuff that I buy, but. Still, every little bit helps. That looks good. They were a bit short on tubs. Oh, they were meant to bring me seven, they only brought six. So um, I'll just grab another one when I'm there, hopefully. Just need a hand to get these. They're too heavy to lift. Oh, it's not too bad. That one's all right. Some of these wheels are terrible. Forklifts have damaged the wheels. Oh, and one more road, a heavy one. Ah. 
Okay, and just PCI cards. Not quite full, but if I don't get rid of it, by the time they're picking up the next lot, I'll have two bins of PCI cards. So, just cash it in. Same colour, see? Colour coordination. <laughs> orange bin, orange tubs. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, this is good. PCI. So, I'm just <laughs> getting rid of these laptops. And, uh, there's quite a lot of them. This will take a while. <sighs> Things we do. Hard drives. Uh. And one for plastic. <sighs> Done a few projectors I picked up from the museum. I oh, half scrapped them just to get uh, this main piece of plastic, the top part. Yeah, quite a lot of laptops actually, and probably more hard drives than ever. But we'll get there. It's no rush. Hopefully they're they're unloading the the van, uh, the truck, because I'm going to be pretty buggered after <laughs> all this. The laptops are not bad, but those hard drives are heavy lifting. might be enough
The boards are done in the time that I unloaded the van. It's good. Agfa looks like a uh, a printer. Look at this. This is shredded data. There you go. And then this all goes as plastic recycling now. Uh, 396. Yeah, how joy? 396? Yeah. Okay. 396. How joy? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You put extra, a little bit extra? <laughs> ah, Christmas. Uh, Christmas, I look after you, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, how's that? This is all server hard drive caddies. It's, you know. Aluminium, but how's that? A whole big load of it. Unbelievable. All right. Look at the size of some of these televisions. They're like uh, d displays. Thank goodness I didn't have to pick them up. <laughs> Just waiting on one empty bin. Check this out. Electronic headphones. Gosh, glad I didn't have to deal with them either. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to seriously uh, contemplate whether I continue to buy hard drives and just uh, as people are coming, I'm going to say, you know, take them to the scrapyard and <laughs> unless you know they've got a you know just a little handful uh, but you know this was uh, I think a 16 milk crates it's just too much because uh, obviously I I get my own and just my own is enough I think <laughs> You know, it was all about you know, helping scrappers out, but well, scrappers are getting less and less anyway these days, so. And they're mostly going to the scrapyard. So. All right, that's all the milk crates. There's my all important empty bin. Beautiful. All right. So let's go back and work out uh, what the payday is. Okay. Well, I'm finally back, and uh, oh, that was drama. There was actually 18 crates of hard drives. <laughs> That's just way too many. Uh, I, you know, I was. I don't know if it came on video because the camera's playing up a bit, but. Um, you know, I was saying, talking about the hard drives and whether it's worthwhile actually buying hard drives off scrappers. I get enough of my own. Um, so I've got to start thinking about that because there's no real difference to uh, um, taking it to the scrapyard or selling them to me. It's the same price. And then what you can do when you take it to the scrapyard, as I was saying, is you can just take the circuit board off and get extra value for the circuit board and then still get the same price for the Ioni Alley. 
So anyway, it was uh, $6,000 all up that I got. So that's not a bad little payday. Um, yeah, as you know, some of that money's tied into um, me buying off other scrappers, but still, it's back in the bank. So awesome, did well. All right, guys, hope that was a bit of fun. Just a short video, um, keep scrapping. And um, yeah, I'll catch you uh, real soon. I'm going to do a pickup in the morning, so that should be good. Catch you then.